I'm Wednesday Adams, and I've depicted black people as bullies in my new Netflix show, and that is apparently a problem, for which I apologize. <laughs> Let's break it down, because apparently the show is being called racist for featuring black people as bullies, because apparently you cannot have black actors seen or shown in a <laughs> negative light. Bro, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, not, I'm so sick of issues that's not issues yeah, being not issues. Issue. Bro, what, black people can only be good now? Only be good, man. That actually makes I mean, it more difficult. I get it to a degree. Like, in the media, you don't want to make black people look a certain way because imagery in, 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 in shows and in, uh, and in, like, advertisements, they do matter. People do look at shit like that. But come on, bro. You got a certain shit. Certain shit is like, I'm right, kind of dragging it. <laughs> races up to cast more. and it also makes it easier for black people to be typecast yeah, and it's a black person running this shit too yeah, running it, yeah it says critics have taken issue with black actress joy sunday Critics. playing a mean girl at nevermore academy and black actor iman marzin portraying a bully <gasps> the horror the horror to depict black people as anything other than golden angels who I think people need a wake up call here. If we start casting black people in films and saying for representation, but that representation is only ever in one light, the positive angel who always wins and is always the victor and never does anything wrong, and guess what? You're not really promoting diversity at all. You're promoting a cookie cutter version of every single black character that will ever grace the screen. Now, now that is a very sound, logical, response right congratulations by the way apparently yeah. that shows breaking netflix records yeah, yeah. congratulations I'm to you right amazing now. response i think that's the most logical one so let's hear the other side of the story all right can we please stop villainizing black women in media so this is a character from the new wednesday series on netflix played by the beautiful joy sunday and as i'm watching this series every time her character oh brother you already know how this shit gonna go <laughs> No, no, this is gonna go, gang. Come on, bro. Come on, gang. Nigga, sorry. <laughs> bro, she you're does not know you, champ. Bro. She does not know Stop you. pandering, Everybody nigga. Dragging, Look, bro. bias Stop. obviously exists, especially in the way people are casted. It happens in all mm -hmm. industries, really, and there's not much you can do except to try and teach people that it exists. And, and I don't know enough about Tim Burton. I don't know enough about his past, his history. But in terms of like this right here, y'all sitting here saying that it was, as soon as they get a black person in there that they're evil. Like, bro, like, I actually think is, is I think, I don't know, personally, I'm, I, I get, um, I find, especially if, if the villain is a good, is good, I'm actually way more attracted to a villain than a hero sometimes because the hero is just like, you know, in the beginning that they're going to win. There's a lot of times, again, if they're done correctly, the villain has way more layers and, and substance to who they are as a character. So like the fact that we can't even like, come on dog, especially black people pushing back and get this. It's not like it's some white, sensitive white people like, oh my God, black people are villains. It's black people doing this? Y'all niggas is bored. Yeah, there's been so much progress in diversity and representation in entertainment, especially in movies and films. You know what I will wish that we stopped doing in films and shit like that? I don't know if... I might take this segue out and put this shit on TikTok or some shit, bro. I wish niggas would stop with the fucking slave movies. Will Smith just put out... He's about to put out a slave movie. I'm going to watch it because it's Will Smith. Uh, bro, can we start depicting black people in a different light outside of slavery? Like, like that's my issue. Like, can we... Black, like, Black Panther movement, like, on some, not on the Black Panther that just came out, you know what I'm saying, uh, rest in peace to, uh, oh my goodness, I forgot her name, but rest in peace to Black Panther. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, the, the Black Panther Party movement, you know what I'm saying, like, some Huey P. Newton type shit, I hope I said that right, I hope I did not butcher her name at all, um, you know what I'm saying, some... Some Fred Hampton, you know what I'm saying? Some real, some black history, some good shit before slavery. Because, you know, it was actually, we have history before slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not our only history. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's start depicting shit like that. Before slavery, uh, during, during the, uh, uh, during the Black Panther movement, uh, the Black Panther Party movement. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's, let's just do something else. I'm tired of the. Tired of the obsession with slavery, bro. We, I'm kind of past that. 
Sure. Yo, so much, man. Like a fuck ton. We've been seeing more like lead right. actors being black. We've seen uh, directors and showrunners being black. So there's been so much improvement. Not let's really not pre let's well, not well. act like th that hasn't existed. And also, let's not act like everyone doesn't have their own agency. These actors, this Nigerian woman here, she could just decide not to take the role if mm -hmm. she felt so strongly about how to portray black people. I guarantee you she got a big ass script. She understood the fucking objective before she said yes and agreed to take the role. And so did That's that cool. other guy. So, like, I don't know, nobody's looking at them and saying, why did you take this role? You're making black people look bad. You, everyone just points at the white guy who has a history of racial bias, apparently. So, but it is what it is. You could just decide to not participate in that nigga's films if you don't want to. Everyone's acting like everyone in this process here didn't have a decision. You have a decision whether or not you want to watch the show. If this is not it for you, then don't watch the show. That's it. Pretty sounds like a good show. I haven't watched the shit myself, but I heard I plenty of good things about it. Look, if you don't want to enjoy it, then don't enjoy it. But stop pretending like there's only one person responsible for how to fuck this show. That's also true. It's, if it's that case, if that's the case, it's on both sides. But people kind of like, like make it seem like people are not capable or, or adult enough to realize like, yo, it's a two-way street, bro. Like people don't hold other, like the actual, sometimes the entity actually like accountable ended up yeah there's many people responsible including the people that fucking watched it including the platform that hosted it, including the director the showrunner including the actors on set including the people that funded it like it was a, it was a production and it was a pilot and apparently it was really successful so it's probably yeah. gonna be ran back but it just feels like being angry for no reason i got this famous yep. theory mm -hmm. that bored people entertain themselves with problems because they're fucking bored and this is another one of your bored issues you're not pushing anything forward by being yeah, mad not about this. at all actually. you're not pushing shit forward it comes on screen i couldn't help but to reminisce from another character in another tv show and it just dawned on me it was prudence from the chilling adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Wow, that was a mouthful. But as I was saying, I think it's so stupid how it's always the black woman who's being villainized in these TV shows. And it sucks because when we actually get a black female character that isn't villainized, it's like, yay, the show gets canceled. Now, I was so ready to give Wednesday the TV show a 10 out of 10, but because of the villainization of black women, I'm a minus one point and give it a 9 out of 10. Other than that, it's still a great show. Oh my God, y'all niggas is just talking. He loved the show. He loved you it. You loved the show, but because <laughs> there was a black woman depicted as a villain, now all of a sudden you're taking it away? You didn't Are even, you dumb? You know what's funny? He called her beautiful, but he never mentioned her performance at all since he loved the show so much. He it say, had she, to have been a great performance, right? Because because if they're the villains, that's the anti. The anti builds conflict. Conflict is what makes movies interesting, shows interesting. Also, are you are you telling me that there's there's no black females, black women, <laughs> who are depicted in a positive light in any television show? Netflix are facing backlash for making the black characters in the show Wednesday bullies. Tim Burton has faced criticism in the past for not putting black people in his work. So this person says Tim Burton's response to criticism about not using black people in his work is to make the first couple black kids in Wednesday antagonists. Somewhat of a- Oh my God, do you see that top reply? Hmm, kind of myopic, especially since they become friends at the end. So they, it flips at the end. Y'all niggas is bored. There is no way. They don't, people, y'all don't, y'all not allowing for conflict. Y'all not allowing for story building, conflict. Yeah, bro, to be honest, I told y'all what my piece was and where I feel about this shit. This is obviously just niggas ass pulling. Like, my son AJ said it the best, bro. This is just boredom theory, bro. Niggas are bored and they want to find something to be upset about. This shit is not, this shit is not nice. Like, if y'all just said something about, yeah, I'm tired of slave moves, like, that makes sense, bro, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. She, 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 she executed a role that was asked of her. She could have denied it or took it. She took it and did a great fucking job. Let's talk about it. She was a great actor in the job. I'm not even finished watching the shit. And the, the scene so far, I hate her. That means you did good. If I don't know you and you're an actor and you're in a, in, in a, sh in a movie or show or whatever the case may be, and I hate you because you're playing your role so good. You did a fucking phenomenal job, bro. What are you talking about? So, yeah, I'm going to end it right here because niggas just ass pulling. Niggas just saying whatever. But we're, um, go f go watch Wednesday, man. Shout out to Playback, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this with your auntie, your mama, your, your nana, whoever. You feel me? I'm her, I'm their favorite side, nigga. You heard? All the women in your life. Word, bro. I'm going to check y'all niggas out later, man. Bow.